Hey everyone, my name is Troy from Tech Games Etc. Now, uh, <laughs> before y'all dislike this video or, you know, unsubscribe, just let me explain myself, okay? Of why I believe and why I know Xbox One won uh, E3 2013. But before I start, just go ahead and look in the description box. I have other videos that I did about E3. And I'll just leave the, the name of the video and the link in the description box below. Now, also before I start, I got to just tell y'all that this is going to be totally unscripted. I actually had to do two takes of this video because I didn't mention certain things. It would be just best for me to do the video all over again. So it's totally unscripted. I don't have nothing in front of me to, to read off. But let's just get started. Um... This is the one of the reasons why I believe that uh, Microsoft won E3 2013. Because they have games I want to play. They definitely have games that I want to play. Now, Sony doesn't really have any titles coming on the PlayStation 4 right now that seem to me like uh, I really want to play. Like, I, I respect Knack. Knack looks like a good game. They had The Order 1866, but it didn't It didn't have really any gameplay footage. Nintendo had uh, Wonderful... What was it? Wonderful 101. They also had Xenoblade. They also showed off, you know, uh, Smash Brothers and things like that. But... On Nintendo's end, they didn't win for me because they need more exclusive titles, exclusive third-party titles, exclusive mature titles, and that's how it is. Even, even uh, Ubisoft's one of Ubisoft's top executives or spokesperson was talking about how Nintendo just needs to sell more consoles and they'll get more exclusives from them, basically. And with Sony. In this generation, the PS3 generation, Sony does have games I want to play. Trust me, I'm getting The Last of Us today. Uh, and I'm also getting Beyond Two Souls. Beyond Two Souls looks really good. But if we look at it, if I take a step back and say, wow, you know, Microsoft won this because they have games I want to play. Titanfall and Killer Instinct. Now, with Killer Instinct, with Killer Instinct, I can totally understand it's not it doesn't look like the original but the more I watch the trailer like Titanfall and Killer Instinct ever since E3 started I watched a lot of trailers on both games I even watched Titanfall's demo trailer like five times just because I like how it looks and with uh with Killer Instinct they were showing like Jago did like an 80 something hit combo and uh, I like the, even though I, I wish the textures and the shading was better, like the old school one, I like the special effects, the fireballs and the fireballs hitting it, boom, like that. And so with Titanfall, I totally understand that it can also be purchased on the Xbox 360. But the Xbox One is going to be a little bit more powerful than the Xbox 360. That's like uh, the Battlefield 4. The Battlefield 4 is going to be 64 players on next-gen consoles. So I don't count that as far as something like, okay, but it is going to be on Xbox 360. But it's probably going to look better. And I know these games are probably being played off a of PC. I know with the Xbox controller. I totally understand. But if it looks anywhere near and has the same sort of power of the the Xbox um, Xbox One, it's going to still be good. But also Titanfall, I looked at Titanfall like so many times, so many times, and they have games that I want to play, pretty much. And I know the Xbox One has its controversies. I totally understand that. Absolutely, totally understand that about the 24 hour check in, DRM, and things like that. But here is also why I believe they won as well. I woke up this morning, right? And I said, it's not just because of the games, it's because of something else. And when I woke up, I came out of my sleep thinking about it. Sony. Sony says, you know, you can play used games, things like that. There's no DRM on their end. 
But that does not mean they not they're not barring publishers. They're not blocking publishers who choose to go the DRM route or choose to go the online pass route. Because Sony even said um, through Kotaku that online passes are going to be obsolete for Sony's end, especially in the uh, PS4 generation. I don't know about the PS3 generation, but because because you have to pay for online now next uh, next gen. So they're saying they're not going to block publishers who go down that DRM online pass route anyway. So that's why we're still in the dark of what everyone else is going to do on Sony's end. So this is why Xbox One, to me, wins E3 2013. And there you go. So <laughs> there you go, y'all. There you have it. Uh, tell me what y'all think in the, uh, in the comments section below. I'd love to hear your feedback, and I will respond to your feedback as well. And uh, there you go, y'all. There you have it. Make sure you like and subscribe uh, to my channel, and uh, see you later. Thanks a lot.